Stay ahead of the game with our weekly economic insights, where we break down the latest financial news clearly and easily. Hi, I am Samya. In today's video, we'll discuss the latest domestic and international economic developments to equip you with the knowledge you need to make better financial decisions. Today we'll talk about the different news stories that could affect your money from the record breaking GST collection that might help improve things like roads and services to the RBI ensuring banks and NBFCs don't charge too much interest. We'll also look at the changes in mutual fund rules that aims to make things simpler and cheaper. We'll also discuss how global taxes might affect Indian companies and how they could change where people invest in. Stick around to learn about these important things so you can make smart choices with your money and find chances to grow. Let's talk about India's GST collection. The goods and services tax collection in April 2024 reached a record high of rupees 2.1 lakh crore, an increase of 12.4% compared to the previous year. A substantial increase in both domestic transaction and import drove this impressive growth. After accounting for refunds, the net GST revenue for April 2024 stands at rupees 1.92 lakh crore. This milestone achievement in GST collection is a positive sign for the Indian economy and could potentially lead to better infrastructure development and public services in the future. Let's move on to RBI's strict warning to banks and NBFCs. When you visit your bank for a loan next time, pay attention to bank's interest charging practice. Here's why. In a circular issued on April 29, 2024, the RBI has called out unfair practices by banks and NBFCs in charging interest on loans. Lenders have been found charging interest from loan agreement or sanction date instead of actual disbursement date. In cases where loans are disbursed by check, interest is charged from the check date even when the check is handed over to the customers days later. Some lenders collect advance EMIs but charge interest on the total loan amount. Even when partial repayments are made mid-month, interest is levied for the entire month. The RBI has directed lenders to review and rectify these practices, which violate the principle of fairness and transparency. For now, the central bank has left it to the lenders to address these issues, including making necessary system changes. Moving on to the changes in mutual fund regulations. The Securities and Exchange Board of India has relaxed investment restriction for index funds and exchange-traded funds allowing them to invest up to 35% of their corpus in group companies of their sponsors. This move will enable passive funds to mimic their benchmark indices more closely, giving investors a more accurate representation of index performance. SEBI has also asked mutual fund houses to set up systems to detect and prevent market abuse practices like front running and insider trading ensuring a fair and transparent investment environment. Shifting gears to the precious metals market. Global gold demand surged 3% year-on-year to 1,238 metric ton in first quarter of 2024. Several factors contributed to this increase. Active over-the-counter trading, safe haven demand due to geopolitical and economical uncertainty, persistent central bank buying, and high demand from Asian buyers all played a significant role. The average gold price for the first quarter reached a record high of Rs 1,72,741.5 per ounce. The high demand for gold shows that people still consider gold a reliable investment when the market is uncertain. Next, look at the booming telecom equipment manufacturing sector. India's telecom equipment production for 2023 to 24 crossed the 45,000 crore rupees milestone with export of around 10,500 crore rupees. This remarkable achievement was backed by the central government's production linked incentive scheme, which has created over 19,500 direct jobs. This growth in the telecom equipment manufacturing sector is another boost for the Make in India initiative. Positioning India as a hub for telecom equipment production and exports and contributing to the country's economic growth and job creation. Let us have a look at the futures market outlook. This month, investors may witness a turbulent ride in the stock markets. Outstanding positions in market-wide futures hit a record rupees 4.38 trillion on April 25th, 2024 when the May series of derivatives began signaling potential volatility ahead. 
while the market has priced in a victory for the ruling National Democratic Alliance in the upcoming general elections. The focus will shift to the margin of victory as the various election phases conclude during May. Experts suggest May could be an action-packed month with heightened market volatility as investors closely watch the election outcome. Transitioning to regulatory updates, SEBI has made the nomination optional for jointly held mutual fund accounts to promote ease of doing businesses. Additionally, the regulator has allowed fund houses to have a single fund manager to oversee commodity and foreign investments, reducing funds cost. These changes come after a SEBI-constituted working group reviewed mutual fund regulations and recommended measures to simplify processes. The nomination requirement for jointly held mutual fund folios have been made optional based on public consultation. Existing individual mutual fund holders have until June 30, 2024 to nominate or opt out of nomination. Failure to comply will result in their accounts being frozen for withdrawals. For commodity-based funds and those participating in commodity market, appointing a dedicated fund manager is now optional. Similarly, appointing a dedicated fund manager to make overseas investments is also optional. Moving on to the global tax regime, MNCs, that is Indian multinational companies with a presence in 18 European Union nations, the UK, Vietnam and South Korea, will be subject to a 15% global minimum tax rule following the implementation of the global anti-based erosion rules in these countries from January 1, 2024. As a part of a worldwide tax reform agreed upon by 130 countries in 2021, this rule aims to prevent MNC's tax avoidance. Let us check out the RBI's new framework for ETP. The Reserve Bank of India suggests a new electronic trading platforms plan. They want to update the rules because the forex market is getting more connected with the other markets and technology is changing. The plan says ETP operators must maintain at least Rs 5 crore and be based in India. They must also follow the laws like Foreign Exchange Management Act 1999. The plan also says ETP operators must have a good technology and only trade in things approved by RBI. Nobody can run an ETP without permission from RBI. The RBI wants feedback from people by May 31st, 2024 with these new rules. They want to ensure trading is fair, transparent and safe. Let us take a look at Brookfield's plan for India's real estate. Brookfield's asset management plans to invest more than $10 billion in India's rapidly expanding real estate industry over the next three to five years. This investment will double Brookfield's real estate asset under management in the country. Reflecting its bullish stand on the India's market potential, particularly in housing and serviced apartment sector. Let us wrap up with this week's market performance. Indian market witnessed a roller coaster ride this week. After hitting fresh highs initially, key indices Nifty and Sensex reversed course to end with steep losses, shedding around 446 and 1628 points respectively from the day's highs. The sell off was led by heavyweights like Reliance. HDFC Bank and IT stocks, triggered by concerns over the US rate hike trajectory and foreign institutional investors selling worth Rs 964.47 crores. In contrast, DII lends support with Rs 1352.44 crore inflows. That's it for today. This week's Economic Insights taught us about the significant changes and plans across different sectors. Amidst all these changes, one thing remains the same. The financial world continues to evolve rapidly. So stay alert, stay informed and most importantly, stay focused on managing your money wisely.